Hello again, everyone. Today I'm going to focus on the differences between size five standard nibs and size six standard nibs. So I've collected uh, an equal number of size six and size five so they can kind of show you some general differences. There is going to be some variation of line that has nothing to do with the nib related to the ink or how the particular nib is tuned but I'm gonna be giving you some generalizations, and uh, but just know that those generalizations might not always be true just because of uh, the, the various factors that can come into play there. So these are size five and size six nibs of the same um, nib sizes so that we can compare. And then I also have a size eight. These are all Yovo nibs in these pens. This is a Bach number eight because this is the only eight I have. This is in a uh, an Ultim pen from Shown Designs. And uh, normally a size eight nib would probably come with a larger pen, but this was designed to uh, be a little bit more small than that. But so we're not really focused on the pens today. We're focused on the nibs. So I am going to get some paper out so that I can show you the differences. I'll also let you know um, my preferences. I, I generally, <laughs> I, I haven't met a nib size that I don't like in some context. So it's really hard for me. I would say that if I had my choice between size five and size six, I probably would choose size six just because um, I do like a little bit of a bigger nib and I'll show you why. Um, and, and some of the considerations for liking one versus the other can change depending on the uh, pen model because with certain pen models, you may be holding it in a different place. Sorry, I have little paper scraps and dog fur on things here, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, because you may be holding your pen somewhere different on different pens, depending on, on how they're designed. So I tried to find similar models or, you know, pens that you would be holding in a similar way. Uh, but, but we'll see. Again, there's always some variation, so it's kind of hard to determine. So I am going to start with just the run-of-the-mill size. So I'm going to start with... This one has a size five in a medium nib, and these are all steel nibs, by the way, and the size eight is gold. So again, it's gonna be kind of an anomaly, but uh, as far as how it writes, because gold nibs always tend to write, well, again, I, I shouldn't say always, generally write wetter with a, with a wider line, even in the same nib size. So this is, um, these are both medium. This is size six, which is in a pen BBS pen. Uh, this is the 268, which is a smaller VAC model. Um, and these are about the same size, which is part of the reason why I chose them, uh, because I wanted to kind of show uh, how they, how they, um, how far away the paper is from your hands when you're gripping these, even though they're different sizes. And uh, then this is in an Opus 88. Uh, is this the Colero? I think it's the Colero. So I'm going to put these off to the side. These both, or these four, um, both pairs, have custom nibs in them. So I'm going to talk about those here in a minute. But let's go ahead and focus on the medium. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can see my paper. So let's start with the size 5. And both of these are uh, models that you need to screw off the back a little bit to have a smooth writing experience. And like I said, the inks in these are very different. So you're probably also gonna have some variation related to the inks. So let's make sure we're writing here. So this is a medium nib. This is an Opus 88 medium number five nib. Okay, so these nib sizing are pretty consistent across Bach and Yovo. Um, there, there are some slight differences, but I won't go on those today. I'm going to go more into like the practical use of these. So one of the biggest differences I notice between size five and size six is obviously the size, right? <laughs> the, the size five is smaller than the size six. So I'll show you these side by side. There's quite a bit of size difference here, and I'm going to put my hand back here so that you can see those. There's quite a bit of size difference. I'm lining them up so that you can see 
the size six on the right is quite a bit taller than the size five. And because these have similarly placed grip sections, when you hold this pen, your hand is gonna be closer to the paper. And I tend to like to have a little bit of distance with my hand from the paper, which is why I prefer the size six a little bit better because here, you know, this is sort of more like my natural grip. And the other thing you'll notice, although this is a wetter ink, that you are gonna get a little bit of a more broad line, even in the same nib size. So this is a Franklin Kristoff number six medium. And this is a very wet ink. This is a Waterman ink um, and it's pretty wet. But you can see, but this would be the case even with the exact same ink, you would get a little bit of a broader line with the same, with the number six medium as opposed to the number five medium. And like I was saying, the reason why I like the number six a little bit better is because I feel like the distance is better. So here, let's see. So let's move this down a little bit. So here you can see I'm, if I, if I grip it all the way to the end of the grip section, I'm still a pretty good amount away from the paper because of the size of the nib. But if I grip this all the way up to the grip section, like this is where it would be comfortable for me. So I'm kind of having to adjust a little bit to get closer to the paper, which creates some cramping here as I'm trying to like push down. Um, on the bottom of my hand so that I can get there. So that's a little bit less comfortable for me. Um, so, you know, depending on where you like to grip your pen, if you have a natural grip that is way, way far back, you know, that you may not have as much of a problem. I do tend to do that just because um, I like to have my natural grip without really worrying about where the pen uh, is. So, you know, this I might grip all the way back here. I would, I would probably never grip it way up here because that would be uncomfortable for me. So there's those two that will show you a little bit of a difference there. And then let's see, are these the same? Okay, so these are bro both um, proprietary grinds from Franklin Christoph. These are both broad sig nibs, meaning stub itali italic gradient, one in size five which is in this model 45, um, and then one in size six, which is in this pocket 66. So <laughs> at the, the model of the pen, because of when it's posted, this is longer, but you know, here's the true comparison. These have a similar grip section. The grip section here on the 45 is a little bit narrower, so it's not ex an exact uh, match, but you can see again, the size six is much bigger than the size five. This is kind of obvious here, <laughs> the obvious comparison. But you can see, you might be able to see there, the tip of the nib is much smaller on the size five than it is on the size six. And I think this is really just because everything is sort of downscaled on the size five as opposed to the size six. So you're, you're gonna have less nib material to work with. So let me actually go ahead and cap this size six so that it doesn't dry out. And I have this open, which is why I was doing that. So this is the Franklin Kristoff broad sig nib in a number five. And these are both eyedropper, so hopefully the ink flow is generally similar. And then here we're gonna, you can see it's a little bit broader. On the side stroke, it's not really broader. That's just kind of the, the nature of it. And this is a Franklin Kristoff. And I'm, I'm not holding these at an angle to, to show you this. I'm holding it straight up and down. So that, because normally I would actually hold these at a little bit of an angle. So if I do, if I hold it at an angle, you're not going to, like a 45 degree angle, which would be sort of my normal way of writing. You still see a little bit of variation actually, but if I hold it this way, you get a broader line regardless. And I definitely think you're still getting a broader line with the size six. So I'm gonna do one more comparison 
with that. And then I'm going to show you the size eight compared to all of these. And there are actually nibs that are smaller than size five, um, but I'm just not going into them today. I'm going into sort of the standard uh, nib sizes, six and five, and to a certain extent, eight. Okay, so here we are. We have two medium cursive italics. And again, you're gonna notice sort of the same thing where the tip of the nib is a little bit bigger on the size six than on the size five. Okay. So again, I'm gonna cap the size six, do the size five first. So this is, this is kind of interesting. I'll kind of show you the difference, although this is a medium. So this is a Franklin Christoph medium cursive italic and again I'm writing with those flat so that you can see the uh, true line weight there and then this it's a darker ink but you can also see that the line is heavier medium cursive italic Oh, sorry, this is number six. And this is number five. And these are all by the same nib grinder, by the way. I wanted to make sure that I did that. Um, these both, uh, these custom grinds are both by Nagahara, who does custom grinds for Franklin Christoph. And then these uh, SIG nibs are both done in house by their, by their um, house nib grinder. So it's all the same person doing these to try and get you the most direct comparison. So there we go. And now I'm gonna pull out this monster. I seem to be running out of ink in here. So let's see if we have enough. So this is a box size eight and I'll show you the comparison to other <laughs> nib sizes. This is a medium in gold, in 14 karat gold. It doesn't have any line variation. So this is a box size eight, medium. Okay, so you're, you're definitely, and so if we're comparing this medium to these mediums, um, actually Franklin Kristoff is pretty darn uh, heavy, probably because of the ink, that Waterman ink is super flowy and wet. Um, but this one is a little bit bigger, I would think, if just not a hair, and it does seem to run wetter. So let's go ahead and compare and size eight is sort of an unusual size. You're not gonna encounter that very often and they're usually quite a bit more expensive. Um, this one I bought from fpnibs.com uh, specifically to go on this pen because I don't have any other pens that accommodate a size eight. So here is a direct comparison to going from right to left. It's size five, six, and eight. Uh, and this size eight is probably more similar to what you would find in like a larger Pelican pen or uh, some of the fancier uh, higher end pens like um, King of Pens, which might even be bigger. I don't have a King of Pen. I do, I do have a, um, I do have an M1000 in Pelican, but I, I'm not going to do that direct comparison today just because it really wouldn't be fair. This is, this is, this is to compare standard nib sizes. All right. So I think that that covered the reasons why I tend to favor size six. Size eight, um, and again, this might differ depend on the pen, depending on the pen because of where you grip it, but the size eight, you're, you're quite a ways back. Um, I actually find it quite comfortable because I like to be further back with my hand. Um, so basically the larger the nib size, the further your hand is going to be from the paper. And it just depends on what a comfortable grip is to you. I mean, I actually have some pens. Um, I think it might be the, I forget, the Franklin Christoph Model 19 or something like that, that I actually find a lot more comfortable than some size sixes. So it just, it's just going to depend on, you know, how, uh, how the pen is designed and how you grip it. But those are some general differences between size five and size six. All right, and if you have questions about these differences in nib sizes, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a nib expert. This is just based on, on my experiences with writing with these different sizes and um, 
how I feel about them. I would say that size six is probably more common than size five, but you know, there's, there's plenty of pens that accommodate a size five as well. But I think size six has kind of been viewed as the standard, but it actually is quite a large nib. I mean, if you look at this compared to the size eight, the length, the length of the nib is still fairly similar. It's just a little bit longer on the size eight. Um, it's cert the size eight is certainly fatter, but um, there's not a huge uh, difference. And this, I've actually seen pens that can accommodate either a size six or a size eight, and the size six looks fine on it. Like it doesn't look like it's out of place. It's still a pretty big nib, because you're certainly gonna be getting a smaller nib if you're getting like a Kaweco Sport, Kaweco Sport, or you know anything that's a pocket pen or something like that. Uh, you're gonna be getting smaller size nibs, but these are the standards. But like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask below and I'll answer when I can. This was a requested video, so I'm hoping that that satisfies the, the person's request. Uh, feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. If you enjoy this video, give it a like. I hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much, bye.